they turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more that they know who we at, man. Check the ratings. We got them up through the ceiling, like elevators. House of Vets in the building, go going crazy. This shit was made for television. Pass the remote, baby. Not going, subscribe, comment, go live. Tell a, a friend to go and tell a friend. Make sure you tap in, cause we at it again. It's all entertainment, cause we stay entertaining. Yeah, stay entertaining. Hey, turn me up a little. Yeah. Hey, let me get a little more. That they know who we at, man. Check the ratings, we got them up through the ceiling like So welcome, this is JJL Collectibles, where pretty much if you collect it, we can get it. And here you'll see we have a lot of different raw books, uh, low price books, or key books, like first appearances. Uh, you see like Namer number one, or even Sandman, the first appearance from the Bronze Age Sandman. You'll also see some dope collectibles like CGCs, which are slab books, where they're sent to professional graders, they get graded, and then they come back to me, and I try to get myself a 9.8, as high as I can for our customers. Even as far as artwork, uh, Peace Momoko, we have original artwork from a really, one of our, a timeless uh, artist at the moment. And that's JJL Collectibles. Like I say, if you collect it, we can get it. Hold on, also. I just want to show them. He has Harley Quinn. It seems to be very more popular these days. Yeah. Like she was always popular, but her fame is like. Yeah, and this, and this is dope too because this is uh, David Nakayama which is a really famous uh, cover artist, and he did a lot of these like serial-based covers. So you saw the Harley Pals. You got the Emperor Joker, where at one point he becomes the Emperor of Gotham and, I believe, Metropolis. So that's another dope cover. We have a fan who's like the biggest Spider-Man fan. Yeah, this is a Miles Morales yeah. uh, 42. It's an Ivan Tao cover from KRS Comics. I'm really big into like variant and exclusive covers as well. Thank you so much. Thank you. Instagram and redcreekcomic.com to look it up. Okay, thank you.
And this is going to be... A graphic novel. A graphic novel. Oh, wow, a novel. Yes, yes. And this is going to be a series. And this will be a series, yes. Okay. This is The Speed of War. Super honored to be a part of The Speed of War to tell our military stories. Yes. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. War is the true stories of our military elite. Andy Stump was a Navy SEAL. Mike Glover was a Green Beret. Um, the comics will be out next month. Let the guys sign cards. And then this is my original series, Red Creek. It is a vampire western. You can take this card. These will also be out next month. And here's the website. Follow us on Instagram when that comes out. Thank you. Thank you. Um, I'm an artist. Uh, I work. Do, I do work for Marvel. And I do work for Star Wars and stuff like that. Um, so here's some of my artwork. Oh! <laughs> I love X Men. Anything X Men? Wonder Woman. Right now. So this is my partner here. His name is Eliza Hernandez. Uh, she's also the colorist of this book right here, so I'm the artist and she's the colorist. So when I'm working on comics, just to show you guys. So for example, my pages first start out like this, and then when they're finally colored, they look like this. Okay. Do you have a visit card? Um, I have a little QR code. AKA Rally Beam here at the Big Apple Comic Con. This is my table right here. This is my brand called Rally Beam Art. All my figurines are all made out of paper. This is all the any type of characters you can think of. You said this is made out of paper? Yeah, all made out of paper. Oh, wow. Yeah. I call my figurines Rally Figures. Okay. I'm gonna make the type of characters from, uh, from comics, oh. movies. Cartoon, TV shows, big celebrities, anything you can think of, I can make it. And I, do, I also do drawings too. Anything you can think of, I can make it. I just want to point out for those that know I love X Men, they have a picture of X Men here. X Men is the best. <laughs> and there's a picture of X Men over there too. Let me zoom in, show the people. Yes, X Men. We got Mr. Freeze over here. We got Two Face, okay. And of course, X Men. And these, okay, okay. I did a little story of myself right here. It's like my story. Okay, how it started. Yeah, how it started. It's me right here. So, like, basically, some of how I started making figurines. I made out paper using glue, aluminum foil. I made my room. I just got the little second Genesis right here. And we're going to come back. It's the present right here. Oh wow, that's beautiful. So you how I'm doing now. Yeah, most definitely. That should inspire everybody. If you got a dream, follow it. Yeah. You can check me out on my page called rallyb.art. Check out my website www.rallyb.art. Okay, I'm gonna take one for myself too. Thank you so much. Yeah, no Hey, how are you? I'm doing good. For those that may not know, can you explain your booth? Sorry? Can you explain the booth? Sure. So, uh, my name is Brian Weller and I'm an actor. Uh, most known for the Kevin Smith films, Clerks. So, Clerks came out in 1994. We did a sequel called uh, Clerks 2 in uh, 2005. Uh, and then we just came out with a third one uh, this past September called Clerks 3. Also worked in Mallrats, Chasing Amy, Dogma, and many other films. Is um, filming difficult for you or not? Uh, filming for me is pretty much what I wanted to do, so I'm very relaxed in front of the camera, which I enjoy. Thank you so much. You're welcome.